Matt, when you guys say, when you say guys need to invest, does that mean money too? Well, money isn't a bad thing, right? It, it can be a good thing. The reason I don't say money when I talk about stuff is because it's, a lot of people can focus on that, right? And then it's like, oh, how much money is he spending on me? When that shouldn't really necessarily be a focus, but it can work that way as well. And it, however, you know, what you really want is for him to be investing in other ways as well. So you want him to spend time with you. You want him to emotionally connect with you. You want him to put effort in to meeting you and going out of his way and doing things for you, which is some of the stuff that I talk about where I, where I talk, there's this kind of technique that I talk about where you ask a guy for help and you, so one, there's this kind of this thing going on in our community right now where a lot of women are like, well, I just want to lean back and it's, is it feminine to like send him a message? And it's like, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do if you're coming from a space of being confident and you're coming from a space of feeling feminine. There's a lot of things that you can do that people wouldn't, that, that we wouldn't normally recommend because most of the women in our community aren't coming from that space, which is why they're in our community. They're coming from a space of feeling insecure and feeling like they're not good enough and feeling and being in their masculine and chasing guys and doing all this stuff. And so we give them strategies and techniques like leaning back and sometimes they end up taking it too far because it's, it, it, because they're, they're, because they don't, they don't understand it. They don't understand the dynamics and they haven't been doing it long enough or they, they end up feeling better about themselves, they end up getting more confident and then they do it and it doesn't work because, because once you're feeling confident, once you're coming from a feminine space, all of a sudden you don't need to lean back so much anymore because it turns into more of a, a, a partnership instead of a, I'm trying to get him to invest in me to do all these things. But one of the things I talk about is, is asking a guy for help and having him come and do things for you and with you so that he's, he's putting energy and effort into, into hanging out with you, into doing things for you, into being with you. And, and that can make him feel invested in the situation. So say you've got on a lot of chill dates, drinks, burgers, beach, nothing fancy. I mean, you don't need to have him take you on something fancy. You don't need him to spend a bunch of money on you, although that can make him feel invested. The, what the sunken cost theory comes from, the original kind of thing that I, I learned about it from was investing. So when people like they'll spend a lot of time learning about a stock and They'll like do all this research into stock investing and they'll end up going, okay, this is the right stock and they'll find a stock and they'll be like, this is it. This is this stock. It's going to blow up and I'm going to make tons and tons of money from it. And then in investing, what you're supposed to do is you buy in and then if it goes down, if the stock goes down past a certain point, you're supposed to take all your money out, right? And what happens a lot of times with people that do all this research is they'll put their money in and then the stock goes down and it keeps going down and they're like, no, 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 I, I did all the research. This is the right stock and the stock keeps going down and down and down. And they're like, no, but I'm not going to take my money out because I have put so much into this and stock keeps going down until eventually sometimes it'll completely bottom out and they'll lose all their money. And they're like, but it was supposed to work, right? And the reason that they clung on to it is because they put all this energy and effort into it, right? And this thought process and they did all the research and they were certain about it, right? And, and that makes it so that they don't want to let go of it. And, and it's kind of the same process psychologically with 
a relationship or with somebody that they're with is if he's like, you know, spending all this time with you and he's connecting with you and, and he's going around and telling his friends about how much he likes you. And, oh my God, I met this amazing girl and his friends are making fun of him. And he's like, no, 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 but this girl's different. You know, this girl's, this girl's amazing. I've, I've never met a girl like her before. And she's, she's just so awesome. And, you know, we go and spend this time together and, you know, all this stuff. Right. And, and in his mind, he's like, I know that she's great and she's amazing and, and I'm putting all this energy and effort into her. He's going to come out and if you do something, if, if you start showing your vulnerabilities and you know you do something dumb or you wave a red flag in his face or something, he's more likely to be like, you know what, I don't care you know, because she's awesome and I know that you know we have such an awesome connection and she's different than all the other women that I've met and you know I really like her and I want to stay with her. Right? And, and he's more likely to do that when he's invested like that than if he isn't invested at all and you guys are just hooking up and all of a sudden he's ghosting on you and it's no big deal. And, and a lot of the situations that we, sometimes we have women that come in and they're like, well, what about the guys that have been like, you know, we've been in a relationship for 12 years and he ended up leaving me. And you know, what I have to say about that is usually those scenarios or, or sometimes there'll be a guy that's married to a woman and they have kids together and they've been together for 12, 15 years and all of a sudden he leaves and the woman's like, well, what, you know, what about this? And, and the reason that that happens a lot of times is it's not, it's not immediate. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to give up on all this stuff. He had probably been feeling bad for a really long time and he was hoping that it would have changed and it never did. And so what ended up happening was he might have been invested in all this stuff, but the, the feeling of being in that situation got to a point where it, it felt like it would be better to give up and go off on something else. And a lot of times, if he's been that invested in it, it takes a lot of pain in order for a man to leave. Because men typically don't just leave relationships. Most men that are committed to a relationship, they'll put their head down and they'll just deal with it and they'll keep going. And so if a guy ends up leaving a lot of times is because what was going on in that situation, in that relationship for him was so incredibly painful that he just couldn't do it anymore and he had to go somewhere. For him, he felt like he had to go somewhere else. And, you know, obviously it depends on the situation and the guy and all that kind of stuff, so...